Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Dream Stream podcast. I am your host, Yiska Cook, here with our dream sister, fellow dream traveler, Ellen Ronis. And we are hoping for a very special guest this podcast, our teacher, uh, um, doctor. <laughs> I was going to say reverend because he is like a reverend to me, Dr. Stephen Larson, um, and we hope he will come, and also Dr. Carla Mazio, who's a, a, a current dream stream. I call her the OG. Oh, <laughs> pardon me. Bless you. And so it's true <laughs> when someone sneezes. So, okay. Exclamation point. No, it's true. <laughs> so hello. <laughs> Hello, Ellen. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling like we need to start with a dream of yours. <laughs> okay, maybe. Sneeze, sneeze. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope um, Dr. Larson comes onto the show as well, because I've actually never met him in person, but I've got a few of his books, and I would be honored to actually be in presence with him. So anyway, um, Let's see, the most recent dream I had a couple, I don't know, three or four days ago, very odd. Um, I was in my bedroom, but I don't know what bedroom it was. Like it wasn't necessarily the bedroom that I have now and it doesn't necessarily feel, it, it could be a bedroom from my childhood maybe, but not really sure. Um, but it's definitely my bedroom, my bed. And I look under my bed and there is a totally flattened, squished, little animal it could have been a cat could have been a squirrel a mouse I don't know but it was like it looked as if it had been run over many many times like by a car or something and it was under my bed and then I see a small kitten and I say oh my god I'm gonna I want to keep I'm gonna keep this kitten and then I see and this is all under my bed and then I see like an older cat and then I see a cat, another cat with a really distorted big round head, like really big head and like a regular cat body. And it was just creepy and, and weird. Um, and that was the whole dream. Oh. It was I all pretty dark. Really it's like kind it. of dark in there. Yeah. A little. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. And I would say that creepy cat was a little dark itself. It was super <laughs> creepy. Yeah, it was super creepy. And and I was, yeah, I was sort of curious in the dream. I remember being curious, like, wait, I said I wanted the kitten. Why are you showing me all these other animals? Like, oh. I just wanted this little kitten. Oh, as if it was like a... As if, if I was being presented. Universe, you know, as if it's like like a conversation. Yeah. Universe. <laughs> no other way to say yeah, it. Yeah, maybe. So, I mean, clearly something was presenting these things to me. If it, it was, was, if it was. Yeah. So do you have a title? Or what would you title it? Um, <clears throat> uh, all the cats. All the cats. Ooh, yeah. all four of us. Like every level of cat, like including squished and dead and oh, long yeah. time. And that was, yeah, that part yeah, of it was definitely like, like me, me cat, me as cat. You know. you know, I was just remembering, I had another dream with a flattened cat. Do you remember that one with the horse? Like I was riding oh. a horse. It was one of my like housemates' horses or something, and we were riding oh. a trail. And there was this like a flattened kitten. Do you I vaguely remember that. I'm remembering, and I think this happened in waking life. There was a flattened squirrel, uh -huh. and, um, and my cat was playing with it. Mm hmm. Mm, maybe or maybe yeah. that was from your dream <laughs> <laughs> yeah who knows right all the cats um, and how how did the dreamer feel when you woke up um i'm not totally remembering but it was just pretty disturbing it was pretty disturbing i was definitely right. hung up on the on the dead cat part and yeah. something for listeners who are wanting to learn more about dream work it's a dark space so we already know the tone and mm -hmm. had bright and happy things happen there that would have been an anomaly mm -hmm. it's a dark space and then it ends with 
a dark image and I'm feeling a little unsettled by it if I read mm-hmm. you right and um and so that's just a point of interest yeah in work. yes 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 good good point and um yeah um I mean I have some curiosities about it and so, oh, so what what are you doing? Um, you know, like where, what bed was it? Like, it definitely wasn't my bed now. And I'm just like, yeah, is this, is this, is this taking place in some older part of my psyche? It's what I suspect. It's what I kind of feel that there's something like a young, I'm saying older, but I mean, young, a young part of my, my psyche. Yes. You know, something in the past. Yes. Um, or I don't know if it's in the past, but something, it, it, it just feels like, right. I have that sense I, sometimes when, when I'm dreaming of something that's like an old house or my house, the bedroom that I grew up in or whatever, that it's, that I'm kind of working something from that time of my history. And yes. I don't know yeah. if that's true or not, but I also feel that way though. I think that that's a good yeah. insight into yeah. what it might be about for, for the dreamer. Yeah. So it, it did sort of have the flavor of my bedroom growing up, like when I was a teenager. Um, wasn't exactly like that, but it definitely had that feeling. Um, what color yeah. was it? It was just dark. It was just dark. I don't really, yeah. It was just like dark and, you know, it was like nighttime. So I don't really know. Um, but it definitely fe- felt like it was, you know, my teenage bedroom. Um, and, you know, I guess I just wonder, you know, something about, am I supposed to bring this dead one back to life? Am I, what, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, what is that supposed to be? You know, like, what, what does it represent? What am I supposed to think about that? What, what, why is this being presented to me? Yeah, just. So I'm, I'm interested of course, in that, my, my immediate reaction when you said, and I'm sorry, this is just if it's my dream, when you said, should I bring that cat back to life? And I said, I shouted, no, <laughs> in my head. <laughs> it's more for me about like transformation. So it goes from a dead flat cat. So it's flat. So what does that mean to me? That means like, there's it's already decomposed. Yes. It just, it doesn't have that smell. Cause I've, I've found dead yes. decomposing, you know, yes. even yeah. and mice under my bed, <laughs> the life mm-hmm. of a cat mom, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um, so it's really at the end and then there's a kitten. And yes. so to me, that's like speaking a little bit about reincarnation you know okay okay like, sure that makes so much sense yeah like you know this thing was so dead like it was it was no, there there was no, was no life it was like was, like fur like just uh, the fur. i don't even know like it just was you know like flat and dead animal i'm not even really sure what kind of animal it was. i assumed it was a cat but yeah. so but, and then um when the cat there's a big cat you know the kitten is gone and there's a big cat um what are what are the dreamers feelings at that point um well so when i saw the little the kitten i was like i i want i'm gonna i want to adopt that kitten i that's my kitten that's i want him her whatever yeah um and then when i was shown an older cat i was like no i don't i already decided i've already decided i want the kitten like as if as if i had to make a choice Yes. Um, like I was being presented with all these options, I guess, is maybe how it felt. And I already made the choice. I wanted the kitten. So I was kind of like not really interested. Yeah. And then the last one was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, who comes, who comes yeah, who's what that? is this weird or big or round, yeah. big headed, weird, distorted thing? Wow. Um. And so I guess, I 
I don't know. I don't know. Just uh, making choices and choosing. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, that's something I was thinking too, like being sure in my choice. You know, is there something going on in my life where I made a choice and now I'm being tested or like, and I feel like I already made the choice. Oh, I just had a thought. Yeah, I already made the choice. I wanted a kitten because like, you know, kittens are cute and they're young and they're babies and who doesn't want a kitten? Yeah. Um, but I, I wonder if I was being shown those other things. Um, like almost to, not to test, but to, um, okay, what am I, what do I want to say? Um, like, well, what about an older cat? Like you can love an older cat too. And like, okay, this one's really deformed or whatever, but like, and you know, weird and kind of creepy, but it kind of needs love too, in a way. So I think I definitely felt like weirdly disturbed. Like, of course I wanna, you know, adopt the adorable kitten, you know? And the other ones were like, ew, you know? And I don't know if I could relate it to myself. Yeah a middle-aged woman who's you know getting older and looking older and etc and kind of really very 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 conscient uh conscious conscientious uh, no self-conscious about that yes. you know the getting older and uh -huh. you know have, have all my internal judgments about it you know like oh who's gonna want me because i'm older and which is yes. ridiculous but that's my truth that's a piece of my truth and maybe there's something to that um like you know, wow. like, like I want to adopt the cute young thing, but what about those <laughs> things that need like attention and love? And it's a reality, but it's, you know, a <laughs> worshiping reality. But I'm thinking I'm in my, did you say your teenage room though? Not your childhood. Yeah, room. not my childhood room. Okay. So teenage room, yeah. So yeah, it does feel to me like the life cycle, you know, and I at first I was joking about we four cats, you know, because I was considering myself a cat. I think I told you I used to wear cat ears. <laughs> we, had, we got them for Halloween for my son and they're black cat ears. And I used to, I wore them for a couple months because I felt like it was what I needed to express. Mm -hmm. So don't judge me. <laughs> not judge you. Not I'm not judging you. Oh. <laughs> I'm this <just> audience. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I'm I'm interested in the under the bed. When I was a child, was I afraid of what lurks under my bed? <clears throat> mm -hmm. I wasn't. Well, I was I no, I don't not to my re remembrance. No, I wasn't <laughs> one of those kids who like, you know, was afraid of the boogeyman kind of thing. Right. right. Um, no. So, okay. yeah. But I guess like, okay, so let's, let's, let's explore it like the bed, you know, what is the bed? Like a bed is, you know, where you rest, where you, where you, you, you kind of release, you let go, you kind of let go of your conscious mind you go into another realm and it's underneath that what so does that mean depths of our psyche yes <laughs> sorry this the smoke <laughs> yeah. got to me <laughs> and i'll be fine <laughs> grab a sip oh. of water, <laughs> so um right so i what is that wonderful christian anderson What's that poet's name? Um, oh, Christian Anderson. Uh, Christian Anderson. Uh, about, uh, is it about the land of Nod? Or it's just this, I think I have this book. Maybe it's just a water painting, the mm. watercolor painting. Because mm -hmm. quilts that then become like, when you're flying in a plane and you look down at the earth and it looks like a quilt, mm -hmm. so the quilt then becomes that. Mm -hmm. and it's like, connotating dream oh, oh and, and it's beautiful mm. which reminds me i need to find that i still have that book that mm. was a book i wanted to save from my childhood 
That's and wonderful. I hope I still have it. And I, now that I'm packing up to move, mm. I absolutely must make sure I find that book if I, if I still have it. Note to self. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That sounds like a good one to have. Yeah. To keep. Um, so, well, I, I don't know uh, where to take this. If you feel, do you have more questions about this dream? I guess I just, you know, I, I want to explore that like underneath a little bit, ah, like great. something underneath, you know, that intimacy, there's an intimacy about a bed, right? Yes. Um, I mean, even if you don't have a partner, it's not about, it, it can be about sex too. It's where people yeah. have sex, but um, so, so yeah, there's that, but also just, just the intimacy of your so totally personal space, right? Yes. yes. So I don't know what there's, I, there is something like bothering me about it. Like, what does it mean that it's underneath the bed? Yes. Oh, underneath so bed? interesting. Because it's not unconscious or, you know, it's it, because it's being shown to me. So it's not unconscious. Right. It's not, uh, it's not subconscious because it's being shown, but maybe it's, maybe it's some kind of a message that I, that's still in the dark a little bit. That's Begs the question. Mm -hmm. It's showing me or what is showing me. Yeah, good, good question. It it feels like some part of my wisdom. Yes. Some kind of my wisdom. Yeah, which I guess could mean God, you know. Yes. The higher spirit, whatever. Big S. <laughs> big, big S, big capital S itself. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I mean, I get it, you know, I want a sweet little fluffy kitten as mm -hmm. much as the next person um but i also see the beauty in adopting an elder cat for the rest of her or his life so mm -hmm. he, she can have a good life yeah oh, life. yeah my heart I, just, I so beautiful when I yeah yeah, like I could cry when I think about that. Like people exactly. who adopt older dogs. Oh, I have a, a friend who does that. Exactly. She adopts oh. older. Oh God, it's I just, just like that's. It. I just love it. One yeah. day I hope that my life will be such that I can be with a partner who also wants to do this. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, what? Can you hang on one quick second? Yes. Yeah, let's pause for a second if you don't okay. mind. Sounds good. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, yeah. Just, just more. I don't know if you have any insight about the underneath part, you know, yeah. Und you know to me, like if it's my dream, um, like the undercurrent or like the subconscious. So if the, if my bed is like my place of wisdom, I'm just going to say like how much wisdom we can accrue from our dreams under the bed about like, you know, and, and, and not to say everything's completely hidden from me. I feel the same way as I would feel about dreaming about a basement. It's like yeah. the, under, the undercurrent. Yeah, I like that. I like that term undercurrent because I, I do have this feeling in life right now that there's, uh, some, there is something underneath me, inside me, that's kind of wanting to like some old, I don't know, um, I don't want to sort of trivialize this by saying, oh, old belief systems. And we, cause we talk about, people talk about that a lot. It's something deep and it may not be so dramatic or anything like that, but it's just, it is something old, something that I, and I don't even know exactly what it is, but I can sort of feel that there's a couple of things that I, that I like ways that I am in life or that I am about relationships or that I am about uh, love or that I am about my work or whatever, like that are really asking me to go deeper. Yes. Go I mean, deeper to what, what's really, really, really true for me in all of those places. And um, so maybe there's some correlation there. Yeah. Like it is an undercurrent, but it's not totally conscious yet. In this, in this moment, I'm feeling that that not quite conscious undercurrent is from my teenage years when yeah. that was yeah. my bedroom yes and that's really interesting too because you know that's when so much of who we are gets formed you know like what we think about ourselves is 
women, we, we are women, or what we think about ourselves as men, or whoever, whoever what we think about ourselves in the, the sort of gender, and our, gender. <laughs> yeah, or choose gender of choice, whatever, all good. Right. It's, it's what we think, we start to think about what, what we are as whatever gender we feel, and mm-hmm. also our sexuality, and also like who, who we are as human beings, like yes. in the world. See, like we're we're just beginning to sort of have a sense of that, and yes. um, maybe I'm just like a, <laughs> it's sort of oh, yeah, funny to say that at 62, but um, you know, I'm on another level of that in a way. Uh, and I'm I think- interested in the age difference between what did, did I feel like I was 15 or 17, or and then subtracting that from 62 and uh, seeing what number i'm always i always like number play in my mm-hmm. my thinking i'm always yeah adding things together and like deducing things mm-hmm. so. um well i think i feel 16 i feel 16 okay. 16 and whatever i'm not good at math so <laughs> i'm not even gonna pretend to uh 46. Wow, I'm really bad oh, at math. 46. Right, I'm gonna... So 46, what does that I'm mean? I don't know. To... I don't know. I don't, yeah, it doesn't really mean anything to me, actually, but. Got it. So, yeah, I'm sorry that I was just lazy in that moment. I apologize to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was doing it on my fingers, like underneath the table. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. I never found a problem with counting on fingers. Why is that a problem? Why is that a problem? It is not a problem. That's 100% not a problem. One of the reasons why we have things (laughs) we can count on them. So, um, okay, well, the undercurrent, I just, yeah, the undercurrent. I I like it. I feel, I feel pretty satisfied with that, like with that uh, ultimate, you know, kind of conclusion in a way uh, of the whole thing. Yeah. There are ways you could, um, honor the dream, do something to honor the dream. I have been doing a lot of writing Mm -hmm. and I feel like I'd like to write maybe something about it, but let's see, how can I be more specific? Um, I don't know. Uh, Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I just don't know. Okay. I, sometimes I feel that when we really dive in and explore on this level, that we've honored the dream oh, already. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I also yeah. feel that way. You know, Even um, just sharing the dream feels. Yeah, like sharing the dream could be honoring it. Yeah. Yeah. Really unpacking it. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. Thanks. That's good. Thank you for sharing it. So I didn't want to get into a dream of mine so much as to. I've been talking about dream themes, I think, the past couple of podcasts. And I uh, just wanted to talk about a current theme. Um, so I had a dream that there was this, so it was a house. It wasn't, it didn't feel like my house. It didn't feel like not my house. It was just a house, I'm not sure. And uh, there were two teenage boys. And then, they didn't quite feel like my sons, but maybe they were my sons, which my sons are nine years apart. They're not both going to be teenagers. I mean, 12 years apart, pardon me. They're not both going to be teenagers at the same time. Um, but then there was like a little girl and I had a feeling like, like me or not me, but a stepdaughter. So whoever this dream is about has two teenage sons and has a stepdaughter. She is the cutest little firecracker. She has, oh, okay, I'm just remembering um, something very important about the house. I can't see the house from the outside at this point, but then somehow I feel like I'm in my childhood home. And uh, it's a little girl, I think she's sleeping in like my childhood bedroom. but it's not me. She doesn't look like me. She's just like a fly, flyaway, dirty blonde hair. And, you know, I think she's just wearing a diaper. She's probably about two, you know, she's just cute as can be. 
So, and I never, you know, I don't have any little girls. So maybe a granddaughter <laughs> one day, one day <laughs> later. <in> <laughs> so, and then, and then I had a dream, I think even the next night that I was, what was I in that dream? Don't know. I was somewhere and there was a little baby crawling around on the floor and it was just the cutest little baby. I mean, I, and I just want to say, or oh, I'll say after, it's just the cutest little baby. And I think also she crawling around on the floor. And I asked her mom, is she four months? And she said, yes. And I felt really connected to this baby. And, um, and then the baby crawled over to me and the shape of the baby was more like a puppy dog. And then the baby turned into a puppy dog and then, and then turned back into the baby. You know, I only just saw her as puppy dog and then turned back into the baby. So that was, that is the theme. And uh, so what I was going to say before is I love babies. I do, but I'm not like gaga over babies, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, probably, yes, I will see how adorable a baby is because babies aren't in my life right now. So if somebody comes over with a baby or something, it, it might engender such feeling, but I'm not generally gaga over every baby you know no yeah yeah and um so generally when I dream about a baby I think about something new something new is going to be born in my life but um both of these cases didn't feel like my baby hmm And the first dream was your was was two boys in the dream and a girl and the baby. Yeah, little boys belong to the wife, you know. Whose wife was it? I guess it's a blended family. So uh -huh. she's the mother of the two boys, and he's the dad of the little preschooler, the little girl. Hmm. Hmm. And do you know these people? I do not. I do, hmm. not. and I think it's in my childhood home. Mm -hmm. um, but again. Not me as a child, not me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you want to explore the dream or do you want to just sort of talk about the themes? I just want to talk about the themes. Yeah. And then something, you know, yeah. really comes forth in you. So what do you see as the theme? Is it the children? Something new, something new. Mm -hmm. And I have mm -hmm. a feeling if it's not my baby, it's something new is going to come into maybe my family or, um, mm -hmm. you know, mm. yeah, I'm just thinking something new will probably come into my family because if I'm looking at my childhood home as my family's house growing up, then um, yeah, just, I'm not going to say what it really is making me think of because I don't want to say anything you know that I would need to say Bli Ayanhara which means without the evil eye <laughs> not that I'm superstitious but I'm just thinking of future generations uh-huh yeah something. that's what I figured you were <laughs> <laughs> you were riffing on that yeah. um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and but uh, it's always nice to the be the baby feels a little different actually mm -hmm. the baby feels like something new for me even though it's not my baby mm -hmm. I knew how old she was we had a connection she came right up to me she looked like a puppy dog so then there's maybe a future dog which we talked about last time it's actually not happening unfortunately oh, okay. I was hopeful but the whole litter's else else given away elsewhere oh too bad i know too bad okay timing there'll be another yeah there'll right be other timing. options yeah i believe in right timing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely like, full too. of disappointment yeah hmm. <laughs> so um and possibly uh writing project that i've been wanting to conquer 
maybe that's gonna start to happen hmm yeah I feel like that is what it's about hmm mm -hmm. yeah new creative projects whatever that yeah. might be right creativity yeah. is all kinds of things it's giving birth it's you know yes. art it's so, so many so many possibilities yeah and that is an interesting theme and so have you had other dreams like that with little ones in them other oh, than yeah, those? but not lately yeah. not lately but no. all, all throughout you know yes all the time yeah. yeah but you feel like that that just feels like a like a, like a correct kind of sense for yourself about what's going on yeah I hope so you know mm -hmm. I always hope for like a, and I love how you're saying like a creative project yeah yes so I uh, very much hope and I'm wanting to do this writing mm -hmm. I just haven't I yeah. mean I have I just haven't put things all together and I haven't yeah. done the editing part mm -hmm. I'm trying to sit down and just riff but then I don't want to edit all the different riffs together and to make a common you know are you writing. yeah is this is, is this like a like a poetry project or do you not I'm, want you I'm writing a book oh. okay wow also I intend to put all my poetry together into a book that's mm -hmm. on this book that's mm -hmm. this one over here mm -hmm. that's awesome yeah maybe you need some support yeah to. oh yeah you know you have your writers group I think support yeah although I, I just um I'm taking a break from it okay yeah so I'm a little bit concerned you know that I will I, I mean I'm really hoping that I keep I keep doing it um uh, but I'm you know I'm also having a hard time just like going back into my notebooks and seeing which pieces want to be edited which yeah, pieces feel yeah. important and good enough for me to be edited yes. and I don't know where I'm putting them I'm, I'm not writing a book so right so far right. Anyway, maybe they'll turn into that I don't know but well um, if it's me I and my well I don't know if this was my final intention for honoring my dream your dream uh I did say maybe I'll write about it but then I just said, oh, well, just telling the dream is honoring it, you know, right, <laughs> so right, I don't know right. if that's what you landed on, but well, I, would, I would encourage that. Yeah, because you never know where a pe where it leads, right? You start with, oh, the dream and it's cats under my bed and yeah. you don't know that's where right. that goes, right? I mean, that's, that's the kind of writing that we were doing in this writing group is like, just write, yeah, just write, 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 you know start with whatever you start with, whatever thought or storyline or, or um, whatever you call that, not a cue, what do you call it? Uh, uh, I don't know. A prompt, prompt. you know, the yes. prompt, start with yeah, that and then well. let it take it where it doesn't matter. It may have absolutely nothing to do with where you start. So yeah, that, is a good, I, that is a good idea, yeah. So um, maybe I will do that as well. I know a couple of writing yeah. groups going on. Yeah, yeah, and there are there are things all around. Um, actually, my so I reconnected with an old, wonderful old friend from Brooklyn, really good friend, and um, we always did very deep work together. We did authentic movement, and it was very profound work that we did together. And um, she's been writing a lot too. She's a great writer, really great poet like really sophisticated in my, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and um, we decided that we're going to get together once every couple of weeks and just read our writings and, you know, we'll just see where it, where it goes. But it, yeah. I like having support. I like having someplace to put it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm saying that for you, like maybe that would okay. help you to, um, yeah, to put it into right. something. Yeah. Cause something more weekly might be feel a little, does feel a little, yeah. I can't really take on another weekly thing or mm. any weekly thing. Uh, yeah, maybe you maybe know, not I, right now, but just to, at some point, maybe you'll want to get an editor, you know, someone to help yeah. you edit. Oh, I mean, see, people do that all well, the time. That's a whole other thing. Yeah. But I mean, a, you still have to mush it all into one piece of writing before you get an editor, right? Um, so, um, not necessarily. You can just get an editor to help you figure out where things are. Going uh, I'll get a ghost writer. <laughs> well, no, it's not. Well, you could. But I won't because no. I love writing, and writing has been super important to me. Yeah, 
My yeah, life. you're you're a wonderful poet. I don't know any you know your other writings, but I've right. I've heard some of you recite some of your Thank wonderful you. poetry. Um, yeah, I like writing too. I just I don't have a lot of uh, it's just, just yeah. Anyway, I don't have a lot of confidence in it, even though people feed back such uh, yeah. things, but still I have to feel good about it myself and feel like it's expressing something. And I still, uh, you know, wonder about the categories of writing, like, is this poetry? Is this prose? Is this okay. oh, yeah, label. that sort of thing? And I don't really need it's to label nothing. it, except that I will, if I want to put it somewhere out yes. in the world, Yes. It seems like maybe it doesn't need a label. <laughs> maybe I just put it on my Facebook page. You know? I don't right. know. Right. Yeah. Just, just put it out. Right. You know? I do want it certain things. Just yeah. Yeah. Okay. Somebody told me about echo poetry. Oh. <laughs> like that's an actual thing. It's an actual it reminds thing. me of eco kosher. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that right. is. <laughs> that's you know, it's like kosher food. Yeah. But, but also strict ecological standards. Mm. for how it's, you know, oh, how it's killed and for oh. how things are grown and yeah I love that i i am that i am that i'm not kosher but i'm definitely like that like it matters right. very much to me if yes. i'm going to eat an animal product yes. it needs to be on that you know absolutely yeah. free range yep i'm know, very grass, yep. Yeah, yeah i, I like that that was a uh, rib zalman schachter who mm. was the big rebbe in the jewish room newell movement um, passed away a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, he he was thinking about that and creating mm -hmm. that. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel we should go. Yeah. Um, good. Good. Okay. And thank you, listeners. I'm sorry that Stephen, Dr. Stephen Larson, Dr. Carla Mazio, neither of them showed up, but Stephen will be doing his dream group next week. What and, time is his dream group again? I think oh, it was right. the time. I want to invite you to it. You did. Uh, three, I think it was a time. Three o'clock. Three to four. Yeah. Yeah. And then the following, he'll be available and I will remind him that he okay. do Yeah, I can't unfortunately do that time. That's what I remember. Because oh, okay. I start working at two my time, which is four East okay. to Eastern. Yeah. So okay. it just take, it takes it too close to for me. Because <laughs> I'd love to, yeah, I'd love to jump yeah, in. I, right. I would love that. Too. Yeah, but hopefully he'll jump in with us. Yes. That would be awesome. I would love that. Okay. So, well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And listeners, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, please subscribe and we will catch you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>